Hey guys, how are yous? We're um, about to embark on another build and um, I couldn't resist it. This is the ZOHD Talon GT Rebel. Uh, I got this off Banggood. Um, it's a lot cheaper now to buy the kit version, but it doesn't come as assembled as it did previously. You have an unassembled kit here, which means you've got to glue everything on, every little piece. But I couldn't resist it for 80, 86 Australian dollars delivered. Um, I had to get one. It's got a wingspan of one meter. It's a V-tail, very similar to my ZOH, my Zod Dart XL, which I've been flying. I plan to build this one a bit similar as a comparison between the two. So um, anyone that wants to get into these planes could grab one now because they're basically half price. They're reduced from $155 down to $86 in this particular model. So what I'm gonna do now is go through all the pieces and we'll start putting it together. The glue I'm gonna, going to use for this is Gorilla, Gorilla Glue. Um, I'm not sure how much I'm going to need. I, hopefully that's gonna be enough, we'll find out anyway, but you have to glue everything, including uh, all the, the timber, all your spar pieces in, like not the main spar for the wings, but your little carbon fibre rods that that go into the frame to, to strengthen it. So you've got to do every little bit here to glue. So keep that in mind if you are going to get one. All right, so what have we got? A whole heap of, whole heap of stuff, guys. It looks like you get a spare, a spare canopy. It's got, got on here, bonus, extra bonus part for free. So it looks like it's the, yeah, that's the canopy top of the hatch for the canopy. And here, what's this one? We've got plastics. That's our nose piece. So this is all the plastics for that. So it's going to take a bit of gluing. That's your side section of your fuse where your wing, your wing and spar go through. A whole heap of plastics there. Like I said, it's going to take a bit of working out this one, but it could make it more fun. This part here, we've got more pieces, more foam pieces. We've got the instruction manual here. It doesn't give you much, guys. That's it. That's all you get. An exploded view of how to put it together. Yeah, interesting. I would suggest take your time on this, guys, by the look. Another piece here would be, looks like the front, um, front hatch by the look of that. Right now, we're getting into the meaty stuff. So here's the wings. That's the wings there. A little bag here that's got some stickers in it and some wire some servo wire which um, because these are quick assembled wings you've got the you've got the connections in here for quick assemble of your there they are there quick assemble of your of your of your wings just like the Zod Dart. So you've also it also gives you it gives you your hardware, so you do get your servo horns, your, your con connecting rods. I have no idea what that is. This could be a, a stand, is it? I don't know what that is. I can't see that being part of the front. Well, maybe it is. It's not wrapped up or nothing, so it could possibly be via stand. So here's all your timber. Well, they're all pre-cut, you just got to break them out and glue them all into the fuse. So that's where your battery will sit in here. Extra bonus part for free. So they give you some free parts. ZOHD aren't making the Talon GT and the, and the uh, Dart XL anymore. So I'm assuming a lot of these places are um, like Banggood are trying to get rid of excess stock for new product maybe. You got your spar and you got all your little rods in here as well. 
which need to be glued into places probably like the wings to strengthen the wings. These are all strengthening rods. And here's the main fuse. So even your fuse comes in two pieces. So yeah, you get nothing, nothing here. Um, they're little plastic strips which go on the front of your wings. I don't want to lose any of this stuff. And that there must be like a skid plate, I'd imagine, for the underside. So I'll leave them all in there. The fuse will get glued together kind of like that. Plenty your room anyway for flight controller and battery and whatnot. So yeah, fair bit of work to do guys. Allen GT Rebel, there you go. So that's everything in the box. This will be fun. So what I'm gonna do first, we'll start up here with our um, fuselage. Um, what it's saying here is, uh, it says before gluing the fuselage, make sure to embed the two carbon fiber rods that go along each side of the fuselage. After that, you can insert plywood parts 16, 20, and 21 into the slot of either part of the fuse before finishing gluing the whole, whole fuselage together. These aren't actually numbered, so you've got to mirror this. Um, and then you've got your, you've got this section on the other side here for your battery tray, so it's not too hard. So I would suggest don't rush this. Do sections at a time, let it glue for 24 hours if you can. All right, so before gluing the fuse, make sure to embed the two long carbon fiber rods. Got the spar, so it must be these two here, I'm assuming. They're about the size of the, they're about the size of it. So you've got a groove, there's a groove in here. And you're going to have your rod sitting in there, like that. I like building things and this is a really good way to do it. It reminds me of, of um, old school radio controlled cars where you, every, every screw, nut, bolt had to be put together. This is how I like to build a kit. So that's that one. I'll set everything up and get it ready. So let's just pull this out. All right, so let's have a look at this. Okay, so yeah, we've got this first. For the battery, we've got that second. This one third. All we need are those pieces that I just mentioned. There's some little slots in the side here for, for where that goes. And your battery tray is the same. There's a, there's a groove also just in there like that. What have we got? Yeah, it seems all right. There's plenty of room there to slide it to get your CG right. So we'll run a bit of glue down that. All right, this Gorilla Glue I got here, this um, is saying it's not a fast drying glue. I purposely didn't do that because I want to give it plenty of time. I, and I didn't, if I make a mistake, I want to have the um, opportunity to pull it apart again. Make sure it's fully seated in there. Then I'll wipe it all off. Just got to clean up a little bit of that glue and um, let it sit for a while. There's these batteries here that'll just keep it compressed. Yeah, it's not too bad. It's sitting good. It's all flush. Plan on doing this section now, the tail wing. 
and I believe this one here is like some legs for the back of it that's what it seems like and these are your hatches so what we're going to do we're going to put some magnets on these we're going to glue in this little piece here which is that one there we're going to glue in this and we're going to assemble the rear V-tail section of it now what I didn't realize until I took all these out here's the one of the sections of the rear V-tail I didn't realize that they have a you have servos these are actual fun functioning ailerons I didn't realize that in the V so this particular plane requires four servos this is a section we'll do first we'll throw in some magnets in this two these two pieces here and we'll glue in this under section here for the legs so they give you two two of these legs I guess you call it so you got to cut one of them out and we'll glue this into the back here this looks like it screws in so I'm not too sure yet what goes on there okay a few mistakes <laughs> one it expands I didn't realize it expands and it will expand probably four times the amount that you put on um, I'll show you the fuse I've got it does come off fairly well where I first put this section on it's really expanded out quite a lot on both sides here um, you can get a you can get a knife in there and it will cut so I can tidy it up um, and another thing it doesn't dry clear it's uh, yellow but anyway you don't really notice it too much anyway that's the fuse just at the moment so this lets you um, support the back of it basically All right, basically like that so that's pretty handy to have but yeah this expands if you're going to use this Gorilla Glue and it doesn't dry clear so you can peel it off, it picks off very simply, so it's not really too much of an issue. It does clean up pretty well. Alright, we'll let that one cure with the fuse. So, in this bag here, what have we got? We've got our stickers. Now there's little magnets in here, which is what we're going to be using. So I'll put them out. What else have we got in here? We've got Velcro. Front nose cone. Now this is interesting. Yes, it does have four control linkages in there. And then we've got all our wiring in here which we'll have to add in a bit later too. Pretty strong magnets they got here. So we need two on this and two on this one here. Just like that. Right, that'll do for the moment. I'll keep an eye on that just to see how much that expands. All right, so next is the V-tail. So we'll take that one. We got one of those and we got one of these. Okay, first off what we'll do is work on this. That glue, you really need to keep a bit of pressure down um, so things don't pop up because it does expand. And it does like to pop pop something pop things up that you glue so you just got to keep an eye on things and push them down in our spa packet you end up with some small rods here I believe these are for the wings and these two here they will go through through in here so your, your, your little wing your wing spar here comes through here so we have to glue we have to glue in through here and 
we can also glue along this edge here. Okay, so we'll go in there like that. Let's clean up the excess there. Okay, that's good. They're both good. Yeah, what I might use though is hot glue for this section here because it'll glue quicker. Yeah, I think I, I think for this particular section I'm going to use hot glue here just to get a bit, bit of a quicker, quicker bond. I just think it's easier using the hot glue in this particular section just so that I can get a quicker bond because the Gorilla Glue there expands quite fast and um, I don't exactly want to come back to find it's hardened up and it's moved but that's pretty good a little vent a little uh, mesh screen so that's that's pretty much it so yeah there's our v-tail that will sit pretty much like that right so next what we're going to do we need to finish off all the little bits of plastic now that go onto this now that the fuselage is all glued up um, a couple of little things I'll address to you which I don't recommend all right so firstly the fuse right the glue, this is the glue, it's very strong, so it does a good job, but it's not clear, my mistake, and it expands, my mistake too, and it's very hard, well, it's, it's you, you can chisel it off and you can cut it, but because it, I went over the top with it in here, I've got a bit of a clean up job to do, now that it's hard, I will get it off, and it, you can pick it off, it's not really not really a huge problem but it's just a extra thing now I've got to do up the top here it's quite messy in here so I'm not going to bother cleaning it up just yet but like I said you can it does break off it's just messy so it's up to you what glue you want to use it does bond really well it's very strong glue um, but yeah it expands so don't go overboard with it I think on some of this plastic here I'm going to be using um, hot glue um, so this will be the next step. We're going to do the front nose. Uh, we've got all our side, whatever you call them, I don't know what you call them, but these fit on the sides here. The wings clip into that. A bracket here, which is for the motor mount, I believe. It sits in the back. This here is for plugs for your um, rear elevators fit in there and we've got a little me little mesh screen which goes at the bottom here uh, this here is going to go in like that which means these here which will be going to your receiver. We'll poke in like this. And I'll say feed out through the front of the vehicle. And that'll go on there like that. So that's how that's going to go. So we'll screw that down. All right, we might just hot glue this in now. Let's Pretty secure to think that's where that goes, it's obvious. Okay, so what you've got here, the long pigtails are what you want at the back here. Not the short ones, obviously. I made a mistake there. So put your long ones at the back because that obviously is going to stretch through to your flight controller. All right, next I'm gonna put the motor mount in. That's your motor mount here. So give it plenty of glue so that there is no failure when you 
are up in the air with it. So it just slides in like that. It's a pretty simple. And that will go in there just like that. It's pretty solid. It's ain't going anywhere. These guys, these guys here are next. Same deal, just screw it on, use your shorter lengths here. What they've done here, just giving you the option there to run one for your servo to your aileron and another one here for, could be uh, GPS, could be um, VTX. So just giving you options, that's basically what they've done here. If you can see these little connectors, I don't know what you call these guys, I can't think of it off the top of my head, sorry. But they're curved at the top here, so I'm keeping the curve at the top, just my own personal preference, just so that they match when I put the opposite one on the wing. Okay, so I'll stick that in now. Most important, make sure it's down. Make sure it's down evenly flat. Now I know I've got this one on the wrong way. I've got to change it. I don't know if you can see how there's a bevel on the top. That's what I'm keeping. I'm keeping up. That's that set up. We're just about done here with this. Next little one here, we can got a little cross member here. That's the brace for that. I'm not sure whether I'll glue that or not. All right, that's basically everything done. I've got all the plastics in, the GPS cover on that, just I can glue that. So next step now, what we will do, so we've got some magnets to put in. There's some magnets to put in here. So that'll sit in there like that. And this here clips in like this. It's looking like, it's starting to look a bit like a fuselage now, guys. See? Look at that. All right, we've got these two little tabs. All right, so next step, what we're gonna do is the wings. So what we're gonna need are these parts here. We need those parts there, and we need the remaining two of these, and the spar that goes in the wings, which are in the box. So I've screwed the uh, the little uh, receivers in, receiver wires in. Again, making sure my beveled edge is up the top. All right, we'll get a bit of glue on this. So we've got our little spot here for our VTX is why you've got the two wire pins there just for easy transportation you can disconnect everything a servo will go in there I enjoy this guys this is a good good way to build having to do everything and a bonus is it's cheaper to buy hopefully that's gonna be a lot more planes coming through that are cheap because I probably wouldn't have bought this plane anyway I only got it because it was um, half price Right, what we might do with this wing next is the spar that goes in it. So these are our two little spars that will go in there. 
I think I will hot glue this too because it just it's clear. It's kind of put me off it a bit that other gorilla glue because of the colour. It's got to be a bit careful if the hot glue can melt the foam, but it seems to be pretty good. All wings now are completed. Now we can put the front piece on here. We may do that since we're here. So this we're basically now on the home stretch for this. Before we can start adding our electronics and all the good stuff. So all I've got left to do basically is put it together. There's not much left other than stickers. Um, now I basically just got stickers in this bag. There's some Velcro, a cable tie and the it's a 3M. Ah oh, that's okay. We'll get those out. That's pretty much it. So we've still got to do, still got to do the control horns and the control linkages for the servos. Um, I'm not going to really bore you with all that because that's pretty simple. So what we'll do, I'll put the, put the craft together as it is, and that'll probably do it, I think, because pretty much gone as far as what we can do with the main part of the build. We'll put our first wing on first. Put our spar in. Right, we'll pack that in. Very tight spar. Oh, goodness. That's basically it. This wing could go in a bit further. It's pretty tight going in there, but well, it's pretty much the finished product of the talon. So there you go guys, hope you enjoyed that build. Hope it helps you, anyone out that's also bought this. Uh, because it's a different way of certainly putting together the frame. Brings back old school memory for my old Tamiya days when I had to put together from scratch all my Tamiya RC cars that I used to have. But that's it there, Zod Talon GT Rebel, all ready for electronics, so stay tuned for that when we get to that part of the build, which isn't too far away, I've got a few things coming, I haven't decided what flight controller yet, video transmitter, all that stuff, I have got some long range, it will run Express LRS again, because that's where I run all my craft now, and um, just got to work out what flight controller, I have been actually thinking maybe I'll do this one as an Ardu pilot, plane so I haven't got an Ardu pilot plane I've got the hex that's about it but haven't got an Ardu pilot plane anyway guys hope you enjoyed that build and I hope it helped you if you're doing one yourself stay tuned for the electronics when that comes about and happy flying see you all next video bye for now